Today I have a little story about how God cares for his bond servants, how he provides for them. This is an interesting little story because it shows how God doesn't always provide just by handing you money for things, to buy things. He likes to provide in imaginative ways sometimes. So this happened a couple years ago when I was invited to a wedding. And I realized two weeks before the wedding that I didn't have anything that fit me to wear that was suitable for this wedding. This was, well, to be honest, I cried when I realized that. <laughs> because for one, I am not a woman who likes to shop. And two, I was the heaviest I had ever been in my life. And clothes, especially dresses, never fit me well anyway because I'm very short-waisted and they don't make dresses that fit women as short-waisted as I am. And so you put all that together and I dreaded it with every fiber of my being. I really, really, really did not want to go through the torture of trying to find a dress that would look a little bit good on me <laughs> and it would probably cost way more than I wanted to spend. Um, but when I was feeling so down about this, God spoke to me and reminded me of what Jesus said. That he said, don't worry about what you will eat or what you will wear because your heavenly father knows what you need and will provide it. And of course that's a scripture I'm very familiar with. But I always thought of it in terms of, you know, don't worry that you're going to have to go naked. And I wasn't worried about that. I was worried about trying to find a dress that fit me and looked halfway decent. But when God spoke that verse to me, I realized God's my father. <laughs> he wants to provide well for me. And so when he spoke that to me, he gifted me with the faith to just trust that he was going to provide a dress for me. So my daughter said she'd go with me because she, she felt really bad to see her mama crying. <laughs> and she asked me, where do you want to go first? And I just felt prompted. I couldn't have said 100% sure for sure that it was God prompting me, although it's quite easy to see now that it was. And I said the place where we should start at. And um, we headed out and we got there to the store. And I told her first, I'm gonna go to this other department to find this other thing that I need real quick. Truth be told, I was putting off the dress thing as long as possible. Um, so I went to the other department, found what he needed, went back to the fitting room to try on the other thing, and there, hanging on the wall, in the fitting room stall that I happened to choose out of seven or eight of them, was a dress. And I looked at it, and I thought, that's not a bad style of dress. I wonder if it would fit me. What size is it? And I looked at the size and I thought, that might fit me. And so I took it off the hanger that it was hanging on and I tried it on and it fit me perfectly. And it looked good on me and it didn't need altered. And I'm standing there going, oh my goodness, did God really do this? Oh my goodness, God went shopping for me. He went and had somebody pick out a dress that I like that fits me and made them hang it on the hook in the fitting room that I walked into ahead of me. So it would be there waiting for me. 
oh my goodness. And I started crying again. And then I was like, wait a minute, how expensive is this dress? And I looked at the tag and this was a couple years ago, so I don't remember exactly, but it was like $14 or something like that. It had been clearance and clearance and clearance and clearance. <laughs> so a dress that would normally would have been many, many, many times more cost me $14 or something like that. And I walked away from that experience absolutely amazed at God's creativity, his sovereignty, and his love for me. He knew he had a daughter who hated shopping. <laughs> he knew he had a daughter who usually had a really hard time finding clothes that fit. <laughs> but he made my body. He knew what would fit. And he had someone go pick out that dress and put it in the fitting room ahead of me so that it would be waiting on me. So I did not have to do any of the torturous trying on dress after dress after dress that didn't fit and try again and all of that. I just want you to know he loves you. He wants a relationship with you. You are his daughter. You are his son. He wants to do amazing things for you but he wants relationship with you the most. Sometimes he does these sort of things for people who are ignoring him to try to get their attention, but he loves to do it with the sons and daughters that love to spend time with him. This is the God who wants to spend time with you and be a part of every part of your life. This is the God who wants you to reach out to him when you're crying because you have to go dress shopping. He loves you so much. Be blessed.